I mean, so I know when I when I come around this corner, somebody getting shot. My brother, he either he either somebody fighting with him or you know they them run somebody running up in. Her. I come right, I come down the hallway. No cap. Mm-hmm. Come down the hallway. Turn the corner like James Bond. Rappers have the craziest stories when it comes to surviving near-death experiences. It's almost like getting into the industry comes at a risk of being involved in gang wars and gun violence. So let's take a look at some of these rappers who have had really interesting near-death experiences. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 10. Lil Wayne almost overdosing. Lil Wayne is known for having lots of seizures, and he says this is because he's epileptic. He's also admitted that they do happen more when he's been under a lot of stress. However, things took a drastic turn in 2013 when Lil Wayne almost lost his life to a terrible seizure. This time it wasn't as a result of stress or epilepsy, but he had overdosed on codeine. The rapper spent a while in intensive care unit of a hospital in LA, where his stomach was pumped more than three times. Lil Wayne has always struggled with his addiction to Sizzurp, which is a drink that contains soda, codeine syrup, and promethazine. Apparently, he had stopped for a while but couldn't resist it long enough. That near-death experience was enough to get Lil Wayne to be a little more serious about quitting drugs. Number 9. Rich the Kid Home Invasion Rich the Kid thought that he was having a regular day one Thursday in June 2018, but it turned out to be anything but regular. While at his girlfriend's house in Los Angeles, two men broke into the apartment and there was a huge fight. They wanted money and jewelry, and of course the rapper felt he had the better chance of trying to beat them up. Wrong move. When Rich the Kid got physical, three more men got into the room, this time fully strapped with various weapons. It was a full-scale robbery, and they made away with a huge amount of cash and jewelry but not without some physical injuries to both the rapper and his girlfriend, Tori. They had to be treated for injuries at a local hospital, and Rich the Kid shared a graphic picture where he had on neck braces in his hospital bed. That alone was proof that he came so close to losing his life that night. Number 8. 50 Cent Getting Shot The story of 50 Cent getting shot about nine times is one that is quite popular in the rap world. After cruising into the limelight in 2003, Thanks to his lead single, Into Club, people knew that this rapper had so much more to offer. But just before he started his music career, 50 Cent had a pretty interesting life. He grew up in New York with his drug-dealing mother, who died when he was just 8 years old. Then 50 Cent had to move in with his grandmother. However, by 12 years old, he decided he wanted to follow in his mother's path and began to sell drugs as well. As you can imagine, this brought him in contact with the ruthless gangs on the street, and he got arrested in high school for drug possession. Things took a drastic turn in 2000 when he got shot nine times right in front of the house where he lived with his grandmother. The rapper was in his friend's car when a shooter shot multiple times at several parts of his body, including his left cheek, both legs, arms, chest, hip, and hand. He has a permanently swollen tongue with a fragment of the bullet still in there thanks to the gunshot through his cheek. Although you could say there's a good side to this, it left him with a slur which is responsible for his unique rapping voice. However, 50 Cent spent more than two weeks in the hospital recovering. After such a long time, he had to do some home workouts and use a walking frame to finally get control of his body. Number 7. Lil Reese Getting Shot in the Neck In November 2019, this Chicago hip-hop artist was pursued by a vehicle with some unknown occupants. Well, unknown to us and maybe known to Lil Reese. However, they caught up with him and fired about 12 gunshots directly at the musician. These shots were so fatal that he got hit in the neck with a lot of blood loss. Thankfully, he survived with a huge scar to show for it. Number 6. Famous Dex Seizure on Stage In late 2019, Famous Dex was having a club performance in West Hollywood when he suddenly had a huge seizure. It may have been drug-related, even though the artist had announced a few months earlier that he was quitting Xanax and Lean. He was helped off the stage by a few people who tried to get this huge seizure under control until an ambulance arrived. Thankfully, he was able to fully recover from this experience and get back to the music career. Number 5. Da Baby vs. 5 Armed Men What would you do if you were faced with 4 armed men in your home? Apparently, Da Baby's answer is to respond with more gunfire of his own, and that's exactly what he did when he was in this position. When Da Baby's On Baby albums became one of the most streamed ones in 2019, there was no doubt that he would become one of the best artists in the music industry. Despite being straightforward and respectful, he's not afraid to get a little rugged when necessary. 
So when five armed men broke into the house, that's exactly what he did. The baby woke up to the sound of people kicking in his front door and then went out with his gun. As soon as he saw them, this rapper felt that the sensible thing to do at that point was to try to face off five armed men with just one weapon. He was able to shoot one of them in the butt while the others ran off. This near-death experience could have had baby shot badly and possibly killed if the armed men had decided differently. But he survived at this encounter and lived long enough to tell us the story. Number 4. Post Malone in a Malfunctioning Airplane Back in 2015, we saw a new artist on the scene with his rock-inspired melodies and great-looking braids. It wasn't long before his sincere personality had him with millions of fans. Of course, it helped that he's really good at his hip-hop thing and has continued to rise in popularity with every music release. However, in the summer of 2018, we could have lost Post Malone to a crazy experience with a malfunctioning airplane. Just after he released the Beer Bongs and Bentley's album, most people were shocked to discover through various news outlets that the artist was trapped on an airplane. Knowing how fatal air disasters can be, fans held their breath as they waited for some good news. And it did come, all thanks to the amazing pilot. This pilot was able to safely land the plane and get Post Malone to safety. Number 3. Kanye West's Fatal Accident Before Kanye became the music superstar that we know him as today, he was a simple artist trying to get as much recognition as possible. So in 2002, not many knew about this young musician, but something happened that changed the trajectory of his life forever. After a long day of producing music for other artists at the recording studio, he decided to drive home that night. But a crazy thing happened. Kanye fell asleep while at the wheel and crashed into another car. This was a really terrible accident that left Kanye struggling for his life. He got stabilized at the hospital, but not without the doctors putting a metal plate in his chin and wiring his jaw shut. Just after two weeks after his admission into the hospital, Kanye revealed himself and got his major inspiration from his near-death experience. He went into the recording studio and released his debut single through the wire. The amazing thing was that his jaw was literally still wired shut. But then this experience turned his career around and made him into one of the most successful artists in the world. So it took a moment of seeing his life flash before his eyes for Kanye to have his major music breakthrough. Number 2. French Montana Shot at the Studio French Montana is one of the most famous artists in the music industry, but before he got to this point, he was also involved in an insane situation which almost got him killed. In 2004, French Montana was spending quite a lot of time in the recording studio doing what he loved best. One day, as he was leaving the studio in New York, he was faced with several bullets coming directly at him. One of those bullets caught him in the head, and French Montana was faced with emergency surgery at the hospital. Thankfully, the doctors were able to save his life, even though he suffered some major brain injuries. But at least he's alive, right? This near-death experience is one that French Montana won't forget in a hurry, and he still talks about it in some interviews. However, he also revealed that he was afraid in the hospital that the shooters would break in and try to finish the job they started. French Montana knows the person behind this ugly incident, someone who he thought was his friend, but he has refused to reveal who it is, possibly because they're friends again, or he's a dangerous person that could put French Montana's life in danger again. Number 1. 21 Savage's Deal Gone Wrong 21 Savage is one of those rappers who have been through a lot in their lifetime. He had witnessed the death of so many close friends and came so close to losing his life on the 21st birthday as well. Although we don't have all the details, what we do know is that 21 Savage got involved in a deal that went wrong. His friend Johnny got shot in the head and died instantly, while he was shot six times. The rapper shot back a few times, and then waited for about 30 minutes with a lit cigarette for the ambulance to arrive. He had lost a lot of blood and thought he was going to die. So on the day 21 Savage was meant to be celebrating life, he was struggling to save his. And that brings us to the end of today's list. Who is your favorite rapper and what do you like the most about this person? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a big fan of good music. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.